You ever wonder what the Bible talks about, what the Bible says about evolution, right? And what if I can show you in scripture that not only uh, something that, to explain what the Bible says about evolution, right? Not that it's real in a sense, well, what the scientists think. First of all, there's two types of evolution. You got evolution where something just evolves naturally, and then you got what's called the theory of evolution that talks about the whole entire creation of the world. But I'm talking about the theory of evolution, where they talk about the Big Bang Theory and all this stuff that goes on and how the world was created. What does the Bible say about that? Well, let me just say this. First of all, the, the, the reason they come up with the theory of evolution is they have their parameters mixed up. They have their priorities all screwed up because they discover creatures, they discover things, and they discover the earth is much older than what the Bible says, right? So if they're taking that measuring stick based off the Bible and, and comparing it to the actual world, then yes, there is, uh, you know, some kind of discrepancies, right? Well, the reason behind that, real quick, okay, the matrix. What if I can tell you and show you in the scripture that the world that we know now, there was a world that existed prior to that world, an actual world that existed prior to just how the matrix has multiple worlds, right? It's the same way with Earth. Earth existed prior to Adam. Some call it the gap theory and some call it the pre-Adamitic world or the uh, pre-Adamic world, something like that, right? Well, I'm going to start with creation. Let's go back. I'm going to bring out scriptures to point out everything I'm saying, right? Everything I'm talking about. Uh, talk about the creation of the world. Genesis 1 and 9, and 9 says that, And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so, right? And God called the dry land earth, and he gathered together all the waters called he sees, and God saw that it was good. 